Hey, what's going on to all of my uh, Torians? So, please make sure to get the book on Amazon at BarnesandDouble.com. The links will be in the, description, in the description box below as usual. If you'd like to contact me for personal reading, my email address as well as the prices are in the description box below. Um, comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share the video. All right, let's get into it for the Taurus. So the cards that I come up with are the Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands, Three of Cups, uh, Page of Cups, The Empress, Eight of Wands, <laughs> look at that, The Seven of Pentacles, The Four of Pentacles, The uh, Seven of Cups, Eight of Swords, The uh, Hangman, Five of Swords, look at that, The Sun. <laughs> And the death card. I was just saying to myself, I was like, look at that. How uh, the reading that I did, which was uh, Cancer Crabs, uh, the Eight of Wands was between two different two different cards. Uh, two different cards. And uh, the uh, Seven of, of Cups uh, was a clarification card. The Five of Swords was up underneath the Devil card. And the sun was actually the end card, right? But look, that goes to show you that my readings are 100% authentic because how, how would <laughs> how would I pick these cards out of a lineup and, and randomize them if that's the case, if I was consciously doing it? But anyway, so here we go, Taurus. So the Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands. You ending a relationship with somebody. <laughs> you ending a relationship with somebody. You're looking at you're looking at how life would be with them versus how life would be without them. Come to find out, life is better without them. So you decide to uh, break up with them by letting them know, you know, straightforwardly, trying to be, uh, trying to do the, trying to do the best that you can to let them down easy without them getting offended because you know Taurus a lot of people are hung up on their ego you know it's not enough to say that it's over and you don't you know you you can't rock with this person anymore because X Y and Z you have to put it super duper 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 nice because if you don't sometimes people can end up getting very emotional and they end up wanting to go kick and screaming on the way out messing up your life so, but you, you know, love, you know, Taurus sometimes doesn't, Taurus is not necessarily the cruelest or the, or the most ruthless Zodiac sign. So you Taurus, you Taurus will let them know, Hey, listen, you know, you don't, or you ha or have already, you don't necessarily like them anymore. Um, you know, uh, for whatever reason some odd reason the cards is not showing them to me and um as of right now anyway and uh either way it goes you try to the three of cups you try to make it as um peaceful as possible the page of cups they don't want you to leave they want to tell you that um uh you know they're gonna they're gonna do better uh you're the one who's bugging you know they'll say whatever but the thing is that the Empress, which is also which is is Libra, which is ruled by Venus, which Taurus is ruled by Venus, um, the Emperor excuse me, the Empress is about you Taurians knowing, you Taurus knowing that this is what it is that you needed to do, which is to leave. So the Eight of Wands is about them like oh, slow it down. So the Page of Cups is about them trying to tell you no not to leave. They may, some of them may even try to gaslight you, make it seem as if what you, what you've done in, in the time that you've known them is far worse than what they did to you, right? Whatever they, whatever they did. The Empress is about, the Empress is you remaining calm and then the Eight of Wands letting them know, hey, communicating with them, right? Letting them know worse than X, Y, and Z. This is what it is that you did. And then the Seven of Pentacles is them getting hit with 
the truth. Look, 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 this is what the three cards look like together. You see how this is you, the communication back and forth between the two of you, and this is them. The seven of pentacles is, is a certain amount of acceptance or full blown acceptance. The seven of pentacles is how you have them. You letting them know what happened, why it is that you're not sticking around. And they like, yeah, I kind of understand why it is that you don't want to be around type of stuff. They're not necessarily telling you that, but it's that silence, you know, it's that it's that momentary silence of you say something and they're like. And then you you Taurus is like, yeah, that's why, you know, you're making it seem as if I'm bugging. But that's not really the, tr the the case. What it is, is you bugging because of X, Y, and Z. So the four of pentacles is that this person um, kind of being stubborn about it, right? And, and kind of being upset about it, that you left them. And the seven of cups is about you, Taurus, moving on to better people, right? You, you know, not just, not, okay, not necessarily better people, but moving forward, regardless of whatever that means, whether it's someone that's better or whether it's being by yourselves for a little while, right? Maybe even potentially moving out, getting your own apartment, already having your own apartment. It's just time for you to make a move, right? May have already started paying rent in this apartment. And the thing is, thing is is the eight of swords so the eight of swords represents how a lot of you uh a lot of you right they don't like that they don't like it they don't they're, they're very possessive they don't like it they don't know what to do okay the hangman the five of swords this messed them up because they leaned on you so heavily right they leaned on you. They expected you to do so much for them. Like I said, they never expected you, Taurus, to actually leave them. So, okay, so, okay, okay, okay. So I'm starting to get a better idea of what may have happened, right? Obviously, I don't have, I don't know every single thing. But maybe sometimes in a relationship, they would try to convince you that you were the one who was bugging and you should give the relationship a second try. And now that a lot of you Taurus is like, you know for a fact that it's not you, the hangman and the five of swords is about this person is very salty about it. Very salty about it. Because they don't know what to do. See, the hangman can represent enlightenment and kind of how things are kind of turned upside down, right? Because uh, the hangman represents Pisces. So it can represent enlightenment. That's why the person on the card has uh, a glowing halo around their head, right? Even if they are upside down. <laughs> but it can also represent like confusion, like not knowing where exactly they're going to go. And the five of swords represents, in this, in this specific case, kind of rejection in a sense that, you know, it's not that they reject you. What it is, is, is that they're mad at... The fact that you, Taurus, decide to leave them alone and you don't want to have anything to do with their crazy self. You know, it just kind of is what, what it is. You know, I, obviously I can speak to the situation. I most definitely have been there. You know, you know, you'll have those type of people. And I'll say that you're right to where if they were really ones living foul to leave them. Right. Because how many how many people like how many people in the comment section can agree to or, or can attest to this how when you get with someone, right? And then you realize that they bugging, so you end up leaving because you're trying to keep things peaceful between yourselves and them, but you also know where the relationship is gonna go and you know that it's not gonna end too particularly well. So what happens is that you, you uh, they keep calling, keep calling, keep calling you. And then like, and then like they let you talk them back in and stuff like that. Excuse me. They let you talk. They, you let them talk you, excuse me, back in. 
and you hang out with them because you're like, all right, I don't know how this is going to work out. And they essentially wait in the wings to do it all over again. Yeah, those people are dumb. Those people are not the brightest bulbs on the tree, nor are they the sharpest knives in the drawer. Because essentially, to my Taurus, all it is that they're doing is wasting time. And all that time that they're doing wasted, the average, the average expectancy is what, 80 years old? 80, right? 60 to about 80 years old. You'll see, like, I, you know, you'll, I've seen many 50, 60, 70 year olds now have this mentality of now I, now I got to go ahead and get started or whatever the case may be. You're 70 years old. You just now figured out that you got to get started at 70. <laughs> you know, you're not immortal like me. You know what I mean? I actually bought this book that helps me expand my life, my life uh, span. So I'm going to be alive 100 years from now. I guarantee you. I actually bought this book. Here. I'll show it to you. Hold on. I actually bought this book right here that, that helps me expand my life expand right even says it right here to expand your life so i'm reading the i'm reading this joint and i'm reading the secrets and i'm so glad it's hardcover i'm reading this joint and i'm actually learning the secrets of this stuff to really expand my my uh my uh my you know to have longevity but you know you don't these people don't you know what I'm saying like like how many people have that kind of time on their hands you know what i mean so I just wanted to throw that out there for the Taurus. I'm not flexing. I just wanted to throw that out there for the Taurus. Right? To kind of, you know. So, let's clarify, right? Hold on. So, let's talk about this. And then the last two cards are the Sun and the Death card. So, the Sun and the Death card represent how things are going well for you. Okay? The Sun, the Death card, the Sun is you moving forward. You don't have to deal with that loser anymore. <laughs> And the death card represents finally, 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 finally putting to bed this weirdo relationship that you have had with them. And now it's just you. You can do whatever you want. No one's on your heels. You know what I mean? Leeching off of you, leeching off your progress, right? Every time you get some money because you live with them or whatnot. It's kind of like this, it's, it's, it's actually a similar situation with Cancer Crabs. You may want to check out that video that I just did. But um, either way it goes, you Cancer Crabs want to take the time to be single right now. Let's clarify the death card, shall we? Queen of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Yeah, this person gonna be talking crap about you behind your back even when you're not around. Even if they're telling lies. Oh, Taurus is, is so such and such and such and such. Taurus is this, Taurus is that. You know, wh you know whatever your name is. Taurus is X, Y, and Z. And Taurus is this, Taurus is that. Queen of Rods, don't even worry about it. These people are full of fish. You most definitely shouldn't worry about it because ultimately, if people know you and people know them and they know that the two of y'all are together and they know that you left them, it's going to be obvious. To, it's going to be obvious uh, as to why you left them. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles. Again, handling your business, doing what it is that you need to do. And you're not worried about anything. You're not worried about anything. Let's clarify the sun. You have the Six of Rods. Eight of Cups, and last but not least, you have the Three of Swords to clarify the Sun card. So, the Six of Rods, yes, you are moving forward. You're moving on to a lot more prosperity because you don't, because that's what happens when you have leeches sucking you dry of blood. Of course, you're going to be weak, not because of, of the lack of might that you have. No, Taurus is very powerful. Taurus is a powerhouse. You're talking about bulls here. You know what I'm saying? So, so, of course, Taurus is a powerhouse. But that's what happens when you have leeches on you. 
And the Eight of Cups is about you walking away from those leeches, right? And yes, it is going to hurt, but it is a pain that you will be willing to go through because it's essentially you've been fighting with one hand tied behind your back, weakened because you're hanging out with the, that loser. Now you're not hanging out with them. Now you're essentially, you can let it fly. So that's pretty much it. That's all I have for you for today. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. Peace, really appreciate it.